Desmond was well aware of his advancing years. I'm much too old to be killed, but thank God, you know, they've kept me on. Even then, I said, look, it's about time I had an assistant. And they said, well, why? I said, well, look, I can't go on forever. Um, the Bond team had a now, solution. I want to introduce you to the young fellow. I'm grooming to follow me. Desmond doesn't want to have to handle that much material because he's done enough, I think. So now we've brought in an assistant so we can kind of build a relationship between the two of them. So John Cleese, who's playing R, which is Q's assistant, you know, can shoulder some of the load and also, I think, you know, build a kind of amusing relationship between the two of them. John Cleese brought his own brand of comedy to the part of R. Hoax, if you open the door. And you might be... This is 007. If you're Q, does that make him R? Ah, yes, the legendary 007 wit. Or at least half of it. Well, I'm playing uh, Q's deputy because uh, Desmond, who's been in 17 of them now, he, apparently he wasn't in the first two or something, and he's done Q ever since. And he started saying to Barbara Broccoli and Michael Wilson about three movies ago that he ought to have a deputy, someone he's kind of training to take over. So I'm delighted to say they asked me if I'd do it. It was accepted that Q couldn't go on forever, but no one was to know that his replacement would be needed so soon. Titanium armor, a multitasking heads-up display, and six beverage cup holders. All in all, rather stocked. Fully loaded, I think, is the term. I think. You're not here to think. You're here to do what I tell you. 